Yeah, this actually happened. The $130 Apple Pencil 2 rolled off the table and hit the base of the desk. Putting it to the display, realizing nothing is happening, terrifying. Luckily the tip had taken the impact. That tiny damage was enough. No problem, I'll just use my spare tip. That's right, I can't, because Apple did an Apple with a pencil too. No extra tip. I still had my Apple Pencil Gen 1 box, so that saved the day. But now I was down to my last tip. What about that product I saw in the Facebook ads? Could one of those pen tips have saved the pen tip? Maybe. Maybe they would even be useful for drawing. Pen tips is a product from a Dutch company consisting of a team of enthusiasts that live for creating. Judge. They have some other products now to aid in digital drawing as well, besides the pen tips. The pen tips are silica nibs with a matte coating that they claim increases control, reduces clacking, and acts as a protective layer. They also claim to reduce wear on your tips. If you didn't know, your uh, Apple Pencil tips will get worn down eventually. They work with both generations of Apple Pencil. They come in sets of five in a nice little box and are available in ten different colors. One set will run you about 21 bucks. And if you want to mix and match colors, you better open up your wallet, pull out 35 bucks. If it doesn't show up in 40 days, they will refund or reship. Nice. It took about three weeks for the pen tips to arrive, with the pandemic and all. A nice touch is that in those three weeks, pen tips sent me two emails, checking to see if they had arrived yet. The uh, handwritten note was a nice touch as well. The drawing experience is not for me. Regardless if I have a paper-like screen protector or not, I don't like the feeling. The Apple Pencil already feels thick at the tip and the pen tips makes it feel even thicker, like a crayon. I appreciate the added friction on a bare screen, but the perceived thickness means I'm just trading precision for control. It doesn't really get better or worse, just different. I also get very wobbly lines unless I draw fast. Now accessories like this are always going to be a subjective experience. You might love the feeling. Then what about the claims? Increase control. Yes and no. There is more tactile feedback, but it's blunt. In some situations that was useful. When editing in LumaFusion, I found the tips helpful for moving clips around with more accuracy. The added friction meant I could move my clip in small increments side to side. When drawing, you might have to continue a line or start a new one adjacent to the old one, in which case the pen tips were a pain. It also had a tendency to fold under itself and sometimes they wouldn't register the contact. Reduce clacking. Favorite feature. The reason I kept it on when editing. Working in LumaFusion there is a lot of taps. The clicking is constant, both in your ears and in your hands. The pen tips made it a lot more bearable. Protective layer. Sure, a silicon layer will protect your tip to some extent. I thought about dropping my pencil again to see if it could take the impact but I don't have enough subscribers for such an experiment. That's a hint, by the way. But the protective layer only works if it's present. 
all too often it would fall off. When I put it in my bag, it would fall off. When I took it out of the bag, it would fall off. The slightest touch could make it pop right off. Luckily, I went for orange, so I've always managed to find mine. Still got all five. It got so annoying that I kept it off, just leaving it on my desk to be used when I needed to reduce clacking. They're solid in the beginning, but the material gets stretched out after a while and I can actually tell a new and an old one apart just by touch. Decrease wear. Again, this only works when it's actually on. Now before you think this is a quality issue, know this. The pen tips are not a forever product. They're not even a long lasting one. They come in sets of five tips because the company expects you to lose some and wear some down. They expect the user to get five to 12 months out of a set depending on the technique. Now I missed this part when I was ordering my pen tips, so shame on me. But this changes the game because now the pen tips have a lifespan, much like the apple tips themselves. So now there's a challenger. Now let's do some math here. For an average user like me, you get, according to Pentips, 12 months of use for $21. That's $1.75 a month. For a heavy user, you get 5 months at $4.20 a month. <laughs> a pack of 4 Apple Pencil Tips from the Apple Store is $19. So what's the lifespan of an Apple Pencil Tip? Well, I asked a friend of mine who's a tattoo artist and a sketch artist. Now he's been drawing all his life. And he draws every single day. He wakes up, takes out the iPad and draws in bed. It's like the first thing he does in the morning. And I mean, it's not stick figures. He draws realistic portraits with hundreds of strokes in one single image. Guess how long he used his first tip. You can't, because he's still using it after four years. If it would die on him now, that would mean 16 years out of a single replacement pack of apple tips. That's 192 months of use. One cent per month. Another way to say all this is that the pen tips cost over 17 thousand percent more per month. And for a moderate user like me, I might get twice the lifespan out of an Apple tip. I could retire before needing to buy a new pack. This review took a turn. When the pen tips drawing experience wasn't for me, I was like, okay. When they started to come loose, I was like, all right, I have more. But when I started making this review and began putting the numbers together, I was disappointed, angry even. It's a product that doesn't work well for protection, hardly increases control, it decreases wear at an insane cost. I still had to buy a pack of apple tips because I couldn't trust the pen tips to do the job I bought them for. There are only two reasons I would ever recommend this product. You like the feeling of drawing or writing with it because there seems to be people out there who does. Or two, you really need to reduce clacking. If those are not your reasons, you're probably better off buying a paper-like screen protector and a pack of apple tips. I do like the company though. They are honest about the longevity, they don't claim it will feel like drawing on paper and they don't really make any false claims. So I hope my investment in this new company means they can grow and release a product that is useful for me. Know what you're hoping to get out of the pen tips and then make your decision. Until next time. <laughs>